So today is May 15, 2020, and as discussed many times before, the leading mover of the markets right now, silver, precious metals, all markets, is the human response to COVID-19. Now the news will say COVID-19 causes this. No, actually it's our response to COVID-19 that's causing things, right? Mass unemployment caused by our response to it by shutting things down. Um, so I got these numbers from the State of Connecticut website, which is public and updated live very, very frequently. And they're keeping track of all the cases and Connecticut is supposedly one of the harder hit states. So I've got here some hard numbers that you can verify for yourself. Under the age of 30, there isn't a single person in Connecticut who's been attributed to dying from COVID-19, not a single person. Now, if you go up, it goes up a little bit, right? And one thing the website says is that if someone dies and they have COVID-19, they're on this list. So let's say you have COVID-19 and you die in a car accident. You're on here because you died with COVID-19 in you. So that, you know, obviously means that the numbers are lower because if you have COVID-19 and die, it doesn't mean you died from COVID-19. Um, you could argue that there's deaths out there that are COVID-19 that are not on here for some reason. Um, but I pretty much think these numbers, these numbers sound about, sound about right from just my observation and looking at other stats and um, I think the state of Connecticut does a pretty good job with their stats. This is a state with a lot of rich people, a lot of money in this state, and um, I think they do a good job of getting numbers like these. So, yeah, as, as you can see here, right, um, now obviously if you're, not, if, if, if you're down here, you might have more fear, but there's an article I, I read. In the state of Rhode Island, 75% of all deaths were attributed to nursing homes. So that makes things less afraid. Um, but, but my point here is just to share with you data and not have everybody afraid because there's a lot of fear going around and you can draw your own conclusions. There's other video YouTubers I'm watching like, you know, uh, Raw Dog, Corey C, um, you know, Ernie Veratimos, other people who are talking about the numbers and analyzing them. Um, like I got a friend from Australia talking about the numbers and, and so forth. And it's very eye-opening because when you start a discussion, it becomes very political, almost religious immediately. There are people who just suddenly, oh my gosh, the emotional reaction is so strong. Like presenting this data, it almost they, they, they want to shame you. Like don't present us with data like this. No, that's awful. You must promote fear. You must promote fear. So I just want to end there saying don't be afraid of this, but maybe you got to be afraid of other things. Okay, thanks and be well.